praise the name of the living God. Amen. We thank the Lord this hour, an hour of prayer, a day of prayer. And uh, we believe that you have been into prayer the whole of this day. And uh, your life has been a life of prayer, not only today, but your life has been a life of prayer. I gladly welcome you to the sweet hour of prayer, whereby we are going to look at the word of the Lord, and we are going to meditate, to meditate upon his word this evening. So we welcome you wherever you are. Kindly know that we love you, we appreciate you, and we want all of us to reap a great harvest from the Lord. I'm your host, Christabel, and with me, I'm with my sister, Pastor Mary, and uh, good evening, Pastor Mary. Good evening, Madam Christabel. Thank you, and God bless you. So today we want to hear the word of God, and our sister today is going to take us through the spirit of doubt. Remember last week we were going through the spirit of fear that Gideon had before he knew that he is a true man or a strong man or a warrior, that is a man of valor. Yes. And when he realized that he had all the potential and the spirit of God was with him, he was able to do exploits. So I believe that you, are, you also realize that you are a woman and a man of valor. So this week, we are going, today we are going to discuss the spirit of doubt. Mm -hmm. And uh, as the scripture says, how beautiful it is to listen or to hear the word of God from the feet of the beautiful people. And the beautiful people are the men of God who are going to proclaim or to preach to us redemption, deliverance, healing, and above all, accepting Christ as your personal savior. So let us welcome the feet of Christ, the woman of God, Pastor Mary Nyokonyo, please take us through the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wherever you are, I believe that you are ready to listen from the word of God. Amen. And before we listen from the word of God, I would like us to pray. Mm. Just bow down wherever you are mm. in a short prayer. Everlasting Father, we bless your holy name. Thank you for we have experienced your strength, your prophecy your prophetic hour into our lives. Mm. We have seen that God, you have moved near us as we moved near you. Mm. And I thank you because of my listener, my viewer, mm. wherever he or she is, I dedicate all of them unto thy able hands. May you, O oh God, gladly mm. anoint us, mm. fill us with the spirit of joy Amen. to endure this spirit of fear mm. and doubt mm. in our minds because the scripture says you have not given us spirit of fear but of love power and a sound mind mm. and tonight oh god we want to say jesus mm. as you are with us we will be able to overcome Amen. because our strength is not through man mm. but is in you mm. a god who loves us who who overcame all for us mm. we thank you jesus because mm. of this sweet our moment because mm. your people are going to enjoy mm. for you are going to pour mm. into our laps the anointing of joy Amen. we love you and we exalt you mm. in Jesus name we pray amen 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 tunamshukuru mwenyezi mungu we thank god for this sweet hour of prayer vile dada yangu amesema ya kwamba tunaenda kusikiza neno kidogo kisha baadaye tutarudi kwa majadiliano yetu na tamani ya kwamba nikaweze kuleta neno kwenu wala ambao mmekuwa pamoja nasi katika maombi we had a very wonderful moment in the presence of God. Hata hapa kwenye studio zetu, wenzetu waliweza kutujoin katika maombi na tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Na ninajua ya kwamba ametenda makubwa. And also I thank God my sister Christabel before I start to preach. Last week, last week we was we were praying against the spirit of fear. And many people testified 
the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Even we had one sister who came, Sister Helen, came. She said, I'm here to testify about the goodness of the Lord. It's just because of time that we have not given her a chance to testify. Mm -hmm. But we thank God. Our sister has testified and said, God has done me well. Amen. And we give God all the glory because of what he is doing in the lives of many of us. And if you joined us today in prayers, I believe that this is your week. You are going to testify. Amen. You are going to testify. Many testimonies we have received, the healing testimonies. People have been delivered, deliverance testimonies. And I thank God that one prophet of God just visited us while we were in prayers. And the things he was speaking to us, the same, same things the Spirit of God was leading us to pray even before he came. And he said, God is going to use this place in a mighty way. Amen. So Amen. I welcome you all in the name of Jesus Christ because it's the only highway for us to reach God. He says that whatever you shall ask in my name, shall the Father give it unto amen, you. Amen. I will, if only you ask in my name, I will pray the Father for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So in the name of Jesus, we come to you in this sweet hour of prayer. Naninamini ya kwamba wiki hi, this is your week. Ini wiki yako. Ya ushindi. Wiki ya baraka, wiki ya kuingia katika hati mayako. Haijalishi umezuiliwa marangapi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo nataka tuingie katika neno la Bwana wiki iliyopita tulikuwa tunasungumzia roho ya uoga. Mm -hmm. Na roho ya uoga pamoja na roho ya wasiwasi zinaambatana, haziwachani, zinatembea pamoja. Ukipata mtu yuko na uoga, the same same person has doubt. Anaogopa kile kitu ambacho anataka kufanya hajui kama kitatimia anaogopa anataka ndio kununua gari lakini naogopa hii gari inaweza pata ajali kwa hivyo roho ya wasiwasi na roho ya uoga huwa zinaambatana pamoja na leo hii tunataka tuangamize roho ya wasiwasi katika maisha yako. Maana tumekuwa kwa maombi kuanzia asubuhi hata kufikia wakati huu na nina juu ya kwamba watu wengi wameungana nasi katika maombi na mafungo ya siku hii ya leo. Maana huwa tunachukua siku hii kujikabidhi mbele za Bwana kabisa kwa ajili ya maisha yako, kwa ajili ya maisha yangu. Kwa hivyo, do not take it for granted. People are fasting because of you. People are fasting because of the prayer items, prayer needs, prayer requests you do send in our phone. People are fasting because of it. Do not just take it for granted. God is going to answer you. Mungu anaenda kukujibu. Amen. Mungu anaenda kukutendea. Amen. God is going to deliver you. Hivyo ndivyo ninaamini. Maana nimesikia ujumbe wa Bwana siku ya leo kwamba whatever we are doing here mm. it is happening in heaven. Amen. Amen. Inatendeka mbinguni. Kwa hivyo hata mimi nimetoa roho ya msaha. Mm. Nikifikiria nilikuwa nafanya mambo yale ambayo hayafiki haya, haya katika mbingu mm. yanafika maana Mungu amenitumia mjumbe wake leo. Mm. Kuniambia kwamba chochote kila ambacho mnafanya hapa mm. kinafika mpaka mbinguni. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo popote Amen. ulipo ninajua kwamba vile tunafunga roho ya uoga, roho ya wasiwasi hata mbinguni. Maandiko mm. yanatimia vile Mungu alimwambia Petro ya kwa kwamba ninakupatia funguo chochote utakachofunga duniani hata mbinguni kitafungwa na hivyo ndivyo Mungu ametunenea siku ya leo kwa ujumbe ambao ametumana kwetu Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen. kwa hivyo nataka tukaweze kusoma andiko katika kitabu cha Judges Tuko tunasoma Judges nataka tuanzie nine. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Biblia inasema ya kwamba Judges 7 tuanzie 9. Biblia inasema ya kwamba during that night the Lord said to Gideon, praise the Lord. Amen. Get up. Go down against the camp. 
because I am going to give it into your hands. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is going to give your enemies into your hands. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Go down. Praise the Lord. Amen. Do not be afraid. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mungu anaenda kupeana maadui zako kwa mikono yako. Haleluya. Na kuna wakati mmoja ambapo Mungu alinipatia ufunuo kuhusu taifa la Yuda ama kuhusu mtu anayeitwa Juda. Yuda wakati ambapo baba yake alikuwa anamtungumzia wakati ambapo Yakobo aliita watoto wake akawaambia kwamba njooni niwaambie mambo yatakayowapata siku zenu za usoni alimwambia Yuda akamwambia kwamba wewe ni mwana simba mikono yako itakuwa kwa shingo ya adui wako haleluya bwana Yesu asifiwe na ndio maana leo nimekuja kukwambia kwamba leo tunateremuka kwa kambi ya maadui zetu. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tunashuka chini kwa kambi ya maadui zetu. Maana tayari Bwana ameshawaweka kwa mikono yetu. Kwa hivyo uamuzi ni wako. Tayari Mungu anasema ya kwamba maana nimewaweka kwa mikono yako. I have delivered them into your hands. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sasa ni wewe. Ukitaka kuwamaliza utawamaliza. Maana siku moja Mungu alimpeleka Mfalme Sauli katika kambi ya Waamaleki na akawaambia kwamba I want you to destroy them totally. Wamalize kabisa waangamize Waamaleki wote. Kuanzia kwa mdogo sio wanyama angamiza wote. Lakini Sauli akaspea Agag. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Sauli akaspea Agag ambaye alikuwa ni mfalme wa Waamaleki na sauti ya Mungu na pamoja na kondoo zingine akasema kwamba hizi tumeleta kwa ajili ya kumtolea Mungu dhabihu Mungu akisha peana maadui zako kwa mikono yako ni wewe unayewaamua ni wewe ulie na uamuzi jioni ya leo ya kwamba utawaangamiza ama utawaspea and why will you spare your enemy Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Amen. Why will you spare your enemy? The devil comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. Why will you want to spare him? Praise the Lord. Tuko hapa leo ili tukaweze kuangamiza adui wetu ambaye ni shetani. Haleluya. Ambaye ni roho ya wasiwasi ndani yetu. Wiki uh, Jumapili iliyopita tulizungumza tukasema ya kwamba tunaenda kwa destiny yetu. Tunaenda kwa baraka zetu. Na hatuendi na roho ya uoga. Na hatuendi na roho ya wasiwasi. Na Mungu amechukua roho ya uoga na was, roho ya wasiwasi ameweka katika mikono yako. Are you going again to walk with these spirits unto your destiny? I am going to squeeze and smash them. Praise the Lord. I am going to destroy them. I am Jeremiah today. I am going to break them. I am going to uproot them. Praise the Lord. Amen. For God has already put these spirits in your hands. Hallelujah. Amen. I wish somebody is listening to me right now. We are ready to destroy. To pull down whatever the Lord has not planted in you. It is going to be uprooted by its roots. Praise the Lord. Amen. Na Mungu akamwambia Gideon, God spoke to Gideon. If you are afraid to attack, go down to the camp with your servant Pura and listen to what the, they are saying. That is the enemy. Listen to what the enemy is saying. Praise the Lord. Are you afraid to attack your enemy? Are you afraid my brother, my sister? Umekuwa ukimulilia Mungu ukimulilia Mungu kila wakati na kusema adui yangu ananiangamiza shetani amenilemea biashara yangu haiendelei nimeshindwa kufika kwa hatima yangu na leo Mungu anasema ya kwamba hiyo roho ambayo imekuwa ikikuzuia kufika kwa hatima yako nimekuwekea kwa mikono yako uamuzi ni wako kama utaamua kuiangamiza iangamize Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen. sijui kama kutakuwa na Sauli ambaye atasipea roho ya doubt katika isha yake mimi nakataa ya kwamba ninakataa roho ya doubt roho ya shaka 
haitasalia katika maisha ya mtu yeyote katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Mungu akamwambia Gideoni, kama unaogopa enda na mtumishi wako pura. Praise the Lord. Mungu anajaribu kutuambia nini? Nakumbuka wakati ambapo Musa alimwambia Mungu ya kwamba mimi sina usemi. Mimi siwezi enda kumface Fero. Maana nilikuwa huko. Kuna makosa niliyofanya. Akajieleza mambo mengi. Mungu akamwambia nitaenda na wewe. Praise the Lord. Na Mungu akamtangulia Musa kwa Fero. Mungu akamtangulia Musa kwa Farao. Na Mungu akatangulia katika nchi ya Misri akamwandaa Haron ambaye alikuwa ndugu ya Musa. Akamwambia kwamba enda umkutanishe ndugu yako anakuja. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Leo hii Mungu anaandaa roho mtakatifu kwa ajili yako wewe Amen. ili akaweze kukusaidia. Hata Gideoni Mungu aliona roho ya uoga ndani mwake na akamwambia kwamba ninaenda na wewe kupeana wa Midiani katika mikono yako na kama unaogopa kwa sababu unajua Mungu ni roho. Gideoni angesema ya kwamba sitakuona. Mungu akamwandalia mtumishi wake pura wakapata kuenda na yeye Bwana Yesu asifiwe Mungu anaenda na wewe mpendwa usiogope jioni ya leo usiangalie huku na huku useme ya kwamba sina msaada God is preparing a destiny helper Amen a gate lifter Amen. kama uwezi fungua huo mlango God is preparing a gate lifter Amen. God is preparing men of influence Amen. to go before you praise the lord hautahitaji kupigana mpendwa hautahitaji kungangana kuna gate lifters kuna mtu ambaye anaenda kuinua hayo malango kwa ajili yako haleluya God is preparing somebody Daudi akasema lift you up your heads all ye gates. Maana mfalme ambaye alikuwa anaingia kwa hayo malango hakuwa mtu hivi hivi. Alikuwa anaitwa kwa jina Yahwe, Mungu wa vita, Mungu wa majeshi. Anapokuja anakuja na jeshi lake. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is preparing destiny helpers to allow you to enable you to help you reach your destiny tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mungu amepeana maadui zako. Amepeana roho ya uoga kwa mikono yako. Mpendwa unaamua nayo namna gani? Unaamua kuogopa. Maana tiari iko kwa mikono yako kumaanisha iko kwa iko, na, iko sehemu yako. Ukiogopa itakumaliza. Praise the Lord. Umewahi ona wanajeshi wakienda vita wanasema kwamba unapoona adui yako. Kama hautammaliza atakumaliza. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri Mungu ametangulia kukuonyesha ya kwamba adui wako ndio huyu na nimemweka kwa mikono yako. Kabla ajarealize kwa kwa mikono yako mumalize. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God is setting before you. Men of influence who are going before you to help you reach your destiny. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Biblia inaendelea kusembe, kuse, kuendelea kusema ya kwamba and listen to what they are saying. Listen to what your enemies are saying. Afterwards, you will be encouraged. Attack the camp. So he and Bura, before I go there. Listen to what your enemy is saying. Listen to what the spirit of doubt is saying. Praise the Lord. Amen. Na wakati ambapo unasikiza roho ya uoga ikiongea mm. identify the person you are mm. before you agree with it. Jua ya kwamba wewe ni nani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Jitambue who are you? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Jitambue who are you? Kabla sijaendelea hiyo inanipeleka kwa First Samuel. Who are you? Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says go down, go there, go to the camp. You will realize the person you are in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That one takes us to the book of First Samuel. First Samuel 17. First Samuel 17. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. First Samuel 17 let us all go there 
This is the word of God. I really love the word of God. The word of God is life itself. Hallelujah. Amen. He who has the son has life. And the son of God is the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 17, 20, 31. Praise the Lord. Amen. First Samuel 7, 31, 17, 31. Seventeen thirty-one. I don't know if I'm wrong. Sorry. Samahani kidogo tu. Tabucha first Samuel. Hallelujah. Naamini ya kwamba uko pale pamoja nasi. Turudi 23 tafadhali samahani, turudi 23 kuna kitu nataka upate mahali pale 23. And as he was talking with them Goliath, the Philistine champions from Gath, stepped out from his line and shouted his usual de defiance. And David heard it. Praise the Lord. Wakati ambapo Dawudi aliteremka. Tunajua hiyo historia vile Dawudi aliteremka kupelekea ndugu zake. Chakula wale walikuwa katika vita. Na Dawudi kwa sikio lake. Wakati alikuwa amepeana chakula kwa mlinzi wa vita. Kwa sikio lake akasikia he overheard kiongozi wa jeshi la Wafilisti akiongea na alipokuwa anaongea kabla amalize kuongea Goliath ambaye ni ndio champion wa Wafilisti akapita mbele Na akaanza kuongea maneno ya kejeli. Akimufukuru Mungu wa wana wa Israeli. David overheard. Praise the Lord. Amen. Unajua saa zingine kama haujasikia kile adui anazungumza kukuhusu, kama haujaonja dada Christabel kukaa maisha ya umaskini na ili hali, manabii wanakutabiria kila siku ya kwamba unapaswa kuwa tajiri, unapaswa kuwa unafly, unaenda ngambo. Kama haujaonja yale maisha, hautakuwa na uchungu. Daudi aliteremuka Alipoteremuka akasikia kwa masikio yake. Akaonja yale maisha ambao ndugu zake walikuwa wanapitia pale. Maisha ya matusi, maisha ya kejeli. Daudi akasema haitawezekana. Daudi akasema haitawezekana. Sitakubali kuona Mungu wangu akitukanwa nikiona. Sitakubali kuona Mungu akikejeliwa nikiona. Maana najua Mungu ninayembeba. Nimemjaribu nikiwa kwa malisho. Wakati Simba alikuja, nilijua chenye Mungu the ability I've tested the ability of God. I have tested the power of God. Who is this? Daudi akasema who is this an circumcised Philistine? Kama haujaonja yale maisha ambayo shaka ambayo wasiwasi inasababisha katika maisha yako hautakuwa na uchungu mimi nimeona watu ambao wameonja usiku bila usingizi mtu halali unajua akianza kukuaditia dada yangu unashindwa haulali kiaje because you you sleep kwa unalala mpaka asubuhi inafika kama haujaonja usiku bila usingizi you cannot feel it Praise the Lord. Amen. Hautahisi huo uchungu. 
I'm out for prayer against this spirit because I have tested it kwa maisha ya wapendwa. I'm tired kwa watu wa Mungu kulia kila wakati. Nasumbuliwa dada Mary I'm not sleeping. Ndoa yangu iko namna hii. Na ukiangalia mtu Mungu akikufunulia wakati ambapo anafunuliwa maisha ya mtu na shindwa mbona huyu mtu anapitia haya na ile hali this is not your life. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is not your life. Na mbona uteseke kama maisha yako Mungu amekuandalia makubwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Nataka niongee na mtu ambaye amesikia kwa sikio lake. Ya kwamba huu ni uchungu kuishi maisha ya umasikini na mtajirika na nyota yako huu ni uchungu kuishi Kenya na ili hali ulitabiriwa ya kwamba a time like this utakuwa Canada utakuwa Italy utakuwa France utakuwa millionaire it is so painful ndio maana nimekuja nataka niombe na wewe Nataka Mungu afungue malango yako. Ndio maana naamua kukaa kuanzia jana usiku saa sita bila chakula kwa ajili yako na kwa ajili yangu hata mimi kuna mambo nataka Mungu ayafungue. Lazima usikie na sikio. Unaposikia na sikio unasema kweli ni uchungu. Ni uchungu. Ni uchungu kusikia. Mary umesave Mungu kwa miaka mingapi? Mbona hata gari peke yake hauna? It is too painful. Mbona nyumba peke yake haujajengwa? Watu wanaanza kukejeli the power of God in you. Christabel, mbona nakuona hivi? Mtu anaanza kukupimanisha na mikono. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Umeogopa kufikia hatima yako. Mimi leo nimekuja kukuambia ya kwamba tunateremuka na wewe kwa kambi ya washami tunateremuka na wewe kwa kambi ya wamidiani tunateremuka na wewe tuko na nguvu ya Bwana mkuni yule aliye ndani yetu kuliko hii jeshi ambalo tunaona na macho na kama hauoni mtumishi wa Mungu Elisha akasema Gehasi naomba uone na macho yake ya kiroho yakafunguliwa akaona vile jeshi la binguni anasema niliona magari ya moto Niliona jeshi la mbinguni, niliona chariots of fire. Na yalikuwa yanakuja kwa kazi. Na kudhibitisha gehasi kile uliona. Mungu alipeana lile jeshi kwa mikono ya mtumishi wake Elisha, akaliongoza mpaka Samaria wakiwa vipofu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni nini ambacho hakiwezekani na Mungu? Nataka uondoe huo uoga ndani yako. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Unaposoma kitabu cha Timotheo, Second Timothy, twende pale kidogo. Nataka uondolewe roho ya uoga. Mungu aje kupatia roho ya uoga mpendwa. Sitaki udumu katika uoga. Ondoka, toka katika hiyo roho ya uoga. Maana Mungu mwenyewe anasema sija kupatia roho ya uoga. Praise the Lord. Hiyo roho uliitoa wapi? Second Timothy. Tusome 1, 7. Hallelujah. Biblia inasema ya kwamba for God did not give us a spirit of timidity which is fear. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. God did not give me and you a spirit of fear. Praise the Lord. Mm. Ndio maana kila siku Tunaambiwa na wanatheolojia ya kwamba kila siku fear appears in the Bible 365 times which means every day you have to read one fear. Praise the Lord. Amen. You have to stand up against fear every day. 365 days in a year. Praise the Lord. Amen. God has not given you and me the spirit of timidity which is which means god has not given us the spirit of fear hallelujah Amen. but a spirit of power mm. praise the lord Amen. a spirit of power mm -hmm. 
you are a powerful woman amen in you the power of god is show forth the power of god tunataka tufike katika hatima yetu god has given you the spirit of power of love and a sound mind bwana yesu asifiwe god demonstrates his love in you to you through the sacrifice of his only begotten son praise the lord amen na mambo yote yale ambayo mungu alikuwa anafanya ama yesu alikuwa anafanya biblia inasema kwamba alituachia tuwaendeleze We are the ambassadors of Christ Amen. to imitate what he did. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So if this spirit of love is there, you have to sacrifice. Pray fast. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Omba na kufunga kwa ajili ya hizi roho ili ukaweze kufikia hatima yako. Pendo hakuna mtu ameshikilia hatima yako iko katika mikono yako. Bwana amepeana leo maadui zako katika mikono yako ili ukaweze kuwaongoza vile Elisha aliongoza maadui zake kama vipofu akawafikisha Samaria na akawaonyesha kwamba mnaweza enda hivyo na wakaenda Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe God has not given us the spirit of fear but of power Amen. love and sound mind. Mm. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kwa hivyo hauna budi kusimama na kusema kwamba ninaogopa. Mm. Teremuka. Tunateremuka kabisa. Tunaenda sisi. Mm. Katika kambi la maadui kupitia maombi. Na hakuna mtu atakuzuia mpendwa. Na Mungu bado hata anakuambia kama unaogopa I'm going with you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mungu bado anakuambia kama unaogopa na kupatia msaidisi, akaambia Gideoni if you are afraid, go with the poor, your servant. Praise the Lord. Amen. So my sister Takwatisha kidogo. Yes. It reminds me that uh, uh -huh. the scripture says that uh, everything work for good for them that love the Lord yes. and are called According to his purpose. According to his purpose. Yes. Kwa hivyo wakati mwingine hata vile ametukumbusha kwamba where the armor mm -hmm. of salvation mm -hmm. iyo kofia mm -hmm. ikuwe ni ya ukombozi hiyo mm -hmm. mshipi iwe ni ya ukweli hizo viatu ziwe ni za amani mm -hmm. haina shida. Kuna wakati mwingine maombi yetu ni ya kulia sana mbele za Mungu. Kunyenyekea kwake na kumuomba tutetee katika kila jambo mm -hmm. lakini pia ananipa ruhusa kumiliki kabisa yale ambao amenipatia kabisa hiyo ndiyo maana nasema wale wenye wameitwa kwa wema wanaunyakua na wanasonga na umbele kwa hivyo vile dada yetu anatuhubiria kwamba hiyo mm -hmm. spirit ya uoga tuiondoe inafaa tuiondee sababu tayari Mungu ameshaachilia ameshaachilia dada Krista kabisa ni wewe kuingia kwa baraka yako mm -hmm. ndio last week nikasema wacha kuulizana mm -hmm. Wacha kungojea kuambiwa ya kwamba ingia mm -hmm. ni wewe unaingia. Hakuna mtumishi wa Mungu ataingia kwa sababu yako ndio akushike mkono akuvute. Mm -hmm. Ni wewe unaingia. No, kwa hivyo chukua ile nafasi, mm -hmm. uingie umiliki mm -hmm. kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Mm -hmm. Na nataka na kukumbusha Christabel wakati ambapo tulianza hii safari. Unakumbuka mahali ambapo tulikuwa. Unakumbuka yale ambayo tulipitia. Unakumbuka vile tulivyokuwa tunatembea. Hatukujua siku moja tutafika mahali tulipo. Tunabaki tukiulizana Chris, niaje? Niaje ni, njia ni gani? Lakini hatimaye leo tunaweza sema tunaona njia. Tunaona njia. Na hii njia ni yetu kuanza kumiliki na tumeanza kumiliki tunamiliki ndio vile biblia inasema ya kwamba wana wa israeli hawange miliki kana ni kwa siku moja hawange miliki kana ni kwa siku moja kwa sababu idadi yao ilikuwa ndogo 
Na Mungu alitaka kwamba watakapomaliza kumiliki lile shamba lao lote idadi iwe imetosha. Maana tunaelewa hivi ya kwamba wale wana wa Israeli waliotoka kule Misri wengi walikufia jangwani. Wale waliingia ni watu wawili tu Joshua na Caleb. Na sasa wale wengine walikuwa watoto kama vile saa hii. Tunaambiwa ya kwamba above 58 wasiingie kanisani. Kwa hivyo wala wataingia, wenda ikawa ni kisazi kidogo. Hakina ujuzi. Hakina ile ujuzi wa kujua kwamba mungu wanafaa kuabudiwa na mnagani. Ndiyo mana mungu vila liona kale.